Reeves Immigration Law Group now brings you Immigration Law on Your Side. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ito po si Kuya Yo dito po sa radio desk ng PHLV Radio. Kasalukuyan po dahil sa ating social distancing guidelines ang ating radio equipment ay dinala po namin sa kanya-kanyang mga bahay. Ang mga radio hosts ng PHLV Radio ay nagbo-broadcast galing po sa kanilang mga bahay. Mga kaibigan, ngayong gabi po, ito po ang Immigration Law on Your Side. Hatid po sa inyo ng Reeves Immigration Law Group. At syempre, kasalukuyan. Kasama po natin galing sa Bay Area sa California. Kasama pa rin natin si Attorney Flomi Javier Diza ng Reeves Immigration Law Group para po sa mga latest updates related sa immigration. Magandang gabi po sa iyo, Attorney Diza. Magandang gabi, Johan, at sa lahat ng viewers and listeners namin, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. At alam po marami po sa inyo ang nakikinig at nanonood ngayon dahil nasa bahay po tayo lahat at uh, Karamihan, uh, except mga essential uh, workers and employees, ay working from home, kagaya po namin at natin. Ano? At uh, sabi mo nga, social, you need to observe yung social distancing. Uh, this is a very unfortunate um, event ng ating buhay, you know, hindi lang sa United States, but buong mundo. At uh, sana itong pandemic na ito, Kuya Yo, yung COVID-19, ano? at uh, malampasan natin at lahat po kayo, lahat ng viewers at listeners natin, um, galing po natin mag-stay from home muna. at para sa para mahinto natin itong uh, pandemic nito. Tama po attorney. Alam niyo PHLV Radio kasama si attorney uh, Flomi Javier Diza and uh, lahat po ng mga broadcasters uh, ng PHLV Radio ay patuloy po ang uh, pagsiserbisyo publiko ano uh, despite the fact uh, na tayo po ay uh, naka uh, quarantine. Ang iba pong uh, uh, lahat sa atin ay uh, uh, mga naka ano naka stay at home. So uh, mga kababayan Tuloy-tuloy po ang uh, ating uh, public service. Kaya naman po itong ating uh, immigration law on your side ay nandirito pa rin uh, ngayong gabi, Wednesday night, uh, galing sa PHLV Radio sa Las Vegas. Marami mga nagbago ngayon, especially ngayong uh, uh, panahon na ito uh, na tayo ay uh, nagkaroon itong uh, social distancing. Uh, mga non-essential uh, businesses ay uh, sarado. I'm sure uh, sa immigration, marami din ang nagbago at marami ang dapat nating uh, malaman. Attorney, Ano po ba ang mga nagbago ngayon sa USCIS at uh, sa lahat ng larangan po ng immigration dito po sa US? Yes, uh, Kuya Yo, um, kung matatandaan po natin, marami ang mga governors ano, na nag-issue uh, uh, ng directive saying that uh, safer from home, working from home, at uh, you know, they're prohibited, prohibiting everyone to go out uh, para ma-curve natin yung, um, yung problema, ma-into ma- natin yung problema. At uh, kasama dyan, kasama uh, Kuya Yo at mga viewers and listeners natin, ang uh, offices, of course, uh, hindi lang uh, public offices, mga private offices, kundi ang immigration ay apektado din. Ano? Umpisahan natin sa uh, USCIS at uh, Department of Homeland Security where they also stop uh, interviewing applicants, uh, any applications that are scheduled for interviews kagaya po ng adjustment of status based on marriage, you know, or any kind of uh, interviews uh, on the adjustment of status of green card applications, naturalization interviews, uh, 751 removal of condition, and even yung mga biometrics, ano, kuya yo, and yung mga may oath-taking na for the citizenship, of course, uh, since sarado lahat ng mga <clears throat> government offices, um, nahinto po yan at uh, meron silang extension, Uh, hanggang uh, May 7 ang uh, pagsasara ng uh, mga of, uh, of, uh, offices kagaya ng USCIS. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, attorney, isa yan sa mga tanong ng ating mga listeners na pinadala dito sa PHLV uh, Radio na tinatanong nila kung uh, sila ba ay uh, meron ng uh, uh, kung sila ay meron ng mga appointments, uh, meron ng mga notice to appear at uh, kailangan uh, gawin ito sa larangan ng immigration. Kailangan bang uh, may gawin sila para ma-reschedule itong mga ito? Well, automatic yan Kuya Yo at uh, sa lang viewers and listeners natin mayroong uh, very uh, informative na website ng uh, um, USCIS ano www.uscis.com sa aming Facebook din ano at mga social media natin where we update ko anong nangyayari sa Immigration at Department of Homeland Security and Department of State. Um, you, they don't need to do anything, right? Uh, during this uh, lockdown or uh, uh, safer in place na, na duration, 
where automatic yan uh, na na i-reschedule and um, they don't do they don't do anything at uh, tignan lang nila yung kanilang status online at uh, nakalagay naman doon that the interview is cancelled and we will send you a notice of uh, interview in the future so walang gagawin as of now uh, within that duration but after the lapse ng duration hindi natin alam kung extend ng ating pangulo or ng mga governors that we need to stay from home and then titingnan ulit natin kung ano yung nasa website kung uh, automatic na cancel ang mga scheduled interviews. Mm-hmm. Marami nga uh, talagang mga changes uh, ngayon kaya ang ating mga kababayan ay uh, patuloy na nagre-reach out po uh, sa PHLV Radio at uh, hinahanap po kayo at uh, para magtanong. Kaya po sa panahong ito, uh, attorney, uh, we wanted to find out, our listeners wanted to find out if uh, they can contact you. Uh, I'm sure you're doing this uh, uh, Skype or Zoom or or video conferencing. I'm sure you could be contacted still at this point in time. Uh, natural na kailangan kailangan ng ating mga kababayan ng impormasyon hinggil sa uh, immigration. Paano po kayo attorney makokontakt uh, at this uh, uh, stay at home or ating pagkukwarantin na ito at uh, sarado ang inyong physical office? Yes, uh, mula nung uh, nagkaroon ng directive ang uh, governor ng California si Gavin Newsom no? nung um, I think that was March 18 or 17. The following day, uh, lahat po kami sa opisina Uh, we implemented working from home and uh, since then you know uh, although ang legal uh, kuya yot kapag nakakarami is also considered an essential business where we are required to report mm-hmm. to work um, if necessary to comply with a deadline you know or legal directives although that's the case um, we implement sa lahat ng staff namin that exercise their judgment right uh, na pupumasok kinakailangan kunin ng file Right? at kunin yung mga uh, documents sa uh, opisina at i-email or scan para sa sarili so that they can work from home. Uh, lahat ng offices namin sa US, we implemented this directive and we comply with the local and the national uh, directive to stay from home. Uh, and alam natin din that because of what's going on right now, millions of our America fellow Americans and uh, even Filipinos uh, nawala ng trabaho because, you know, walang hindi nagpa-function ang ating business. So, as part of our public service Reeves Immigration Law Group, we also offer uh, currently a free legal consultation uh, sa lahat na ating mga kababayan na saan man kayo within the United States or nasa Pilipinas or, or elsewhere. We can do like this at um, Zoom conferencing, uh, television conferencing, Skype or FaceTime or uh, Viber. Um, We do all sort of um, consultation, uh, any kind of medium that's available for you and for us, uh, we do that. And uh, the good thing about this, Johan, is we waive natin yung $100 consultation fee para sa wow. ating nation at kababayan. Oh, okay, especially sa panahong ito, uh, malaking tulong po yan, uh, attorney, sa mga uh, uh, They can also reach us uh, telephone number in San Francisco is 415-568-3777. They can also visit our um, Facebook page, uh, Reeves Immigration Law Group. And uh, you can also check us online, you know, www.arreeves.com. They can schedule a consultation by um, going to our website or by calling our office. Uh-huh. Isa sa mga tinatanong ng ating mga kababayan uh, attorney at uh, you know a few of uh, those uh, uh, questions have been sent as well on our Facebook page. Uh, ito pong mga regular activities ng ating immigration like uh, deportation proceedings, yung mga ganyan. Ano? Ito po ba ay uh, nakasuspend din sa panahong ito? Yes, Kuya. Actually, ang court ang isa sa last na, na nag-close, nag-close mm-hmm. down uh, even with the directive. Ano? Ang open lang uh, ay yung mga nasa detention, meaning pag naka-detain sila at meron silang hearing and of course we want them to go out the soon as possible time because of this uh, pandemic and because of this virus, we don't want na mag-spread sa kulungan. Um, sila yung hinihir ka agad but regular notices and regular hearings tuloy-tuloy yan. Pero people who are due for deportation at meron na silang date to, uh, to uh, be removed, Uh, they can also contact our office. We can extend you can stay dito um, due to the current situation. Uh, at hindi lang yung mga nasa removal kuya yung hindi yung nasa tourist visa din. Ano? Let's say they were here uh, before the lockdown, before the, the safe, uh, safe in place directive. Ano? 
and uh, let's say they arrive in March at nagkaroon tong directive na to nung uh, middle of March and they're stuck here uh, you know wherever they they reside sa Pilipinas man yan sa India or elsewhere where nagkaroon din ng lockdown na you know it's hard to get a flight flight back home and their their visa is about to expire uh, so it's a good idea to also extend um, their visa status uh, it's not automatic we still have to inform them and there's really a good excuse to extend because of the ongoing um, situation ng ati, ng worldwide situation natin ng pandemic so my tourist visa whose tourist visa is about to expire um, you know most likely your extension will be approved because of this current situation Mm-hmm. Uh, attorney, looking back uh, uh, to our uh, previous episodes kung saan napag-usapan natin ng uh, public charge uh, rule um, Ito pong uh, nangyayari ngayon dahil dito sa uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic uh, Maaari po ba itong uh, maging hadlang uh, sa ating uh, mga kababayan or, or to anybody uh, seeking immigration benefit for that matter na kung saan sila ay uh, nagpa-test ng, uh, ng uh, COVID-19 uh, for coronavirus and then uh, uh, yung mga resulta nun uh, in terms of their uh, the health re- uh, the, the, the testing results ba will that affect them in any way sa kanilang uh, immigration process? Yes, Kuya, uh, that's a really good question because a lot of our clients are asking whether or not um, you know, if they or the petitioners or any family members are being tested, you know, uh, for COVID-19 and they're applying for green card, USCIS policy is very clear na hindi dapat apektado ang kanilang application. In fact, they encourage people to have a check up and to make sure that they are cured, you know, and uh, they get the necessary uh, medicines um, para ma-stop itong COVID-19 na to. So don't worry about it whether you as applicant or whether any of your family members, children, or even the petitioner should that affect and impact your adjustment or green card application. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Good news din pala po, attorney. Ano? Uh, It's a good news. And although nabanggit natin, Kuya Yon, that, that uh, most government offices are closed ano, uh, for yeah. interviews and for personal appearances, kagaya ng, as I said, yung oath-taking ceremony or pagkuha ng biometrics o pag-interview for the green card or even citizenship, uh, they're close. But yung filing is uh, remains um, ongoing. So so if you're about to apply for your citizenship or intend to petition your family members, your children, your spouse or parents, you know, tuloy-tuloy po yan. Uh, mm-hmm. Hindi po sarado yan. So that's why we are also open in, in uh, sa, aming, sa aming opisina, although ang physical offices namin are closed, we are open and we are remotely working on cases that needs to be filed. So sa mga kababayan natin, hindi po minto ang pag-iikot ng mundo because of this, you know, uh, we still file applications and uh, deadlines uh, responding to uh, USCIS deadlines. Tama po kay attorney kay talagang hindi tumigil uh, ang pag-iikot ng mundo kaya nandito pa rin kami ni uh, attorney Flo Mi Javier Diza na naglilingkod po sa inyo at nagbibigay po ng uh, Uh, mga impormasyon uh, related sa uh, immigration. Uh, attorney, maibalik ko doon sa pinag-uusapan natin uh, doon sa public charge uh, rule. Ngayon po, napakarami ng mga nag-apply nag, uh, nag, uh, for unemployment uh, benefit. Uh, dito lang sa Las Vegas, uh, sa dami ba naman ng, uh, ng kasino na pansamantalang nagsara muna at uh, marami pa rin mga, mga ibang, uh, uh, iba't ibang mga uh, businesses, uh, mga non-essential businesses ang pansamantalang uh, naka-stop ano uh, nakasuspend walang pasok maraming nag-apply ng unemployment benefit kung iyong nag-apply na iyon ay uh, uh, seeking for uh, uh, like an adjustment of status or or any uh, immigration benefit ito po ba ay makakaapekto sa kanya yes that's one of the most uh, questions that we receive from our clients as well ano po yo at uh, and i know that entertainment industries kagaya din hotels restaurants um, you know i think majority ng mga Uh, kababayan natin, you know, and and, uh, and workers are affected, you know, millions or are displaced from their job. At, uh, you know, hindi natin ma-avoid yung tanungin ng ating mga kababayan, you know, if that the, the claim for unemployment will affect them on their future uh, immigration benefits. And the answer there is no. Uh, hindi ho ito social security income, ano, or hindi ito asking public benefits. Um, the reasoning for that is because Uh, Kuya Yo, if they work, whether they have work authorization in the past or social security in the past and they have contributed 
to the Social Security offices um, regarding their salary, uh, they are entitled to get the, that unemployment. Uh, so in other words, in the, to public charge, those are earned benefits. Right? They contributed to it. And if they are unemployed and um, they get laid off or fired because of this pandemic, uh, because of the slowing of business or business closure, uh, they are entitled to uh, obtain an unemployment and it will not affect their uh, immigration uh, benefits or immigration applications. Mm -hmm. Mga kabigan, napakarami pong uh, mga information ang uh, nalalaman natin ngayon from uh, our uh, good attorney, Attorney Flomi Javier Diza ng Reeves uh, Immigration uh, Law Group. At this point in time, sa palatuntunan natin, uh, we'll head over to a break and we'll remind you on how uh, to contact Reeves Immigration Law Group. Magbabalik po ang Immigration Law on your side. Kasama pong yung lukod, si Kuya Yo at si Attorney Flomi Javier Diza. We'll be back after this. Reeves Immigration Law Group has been representing immigrants for nearly 40 years. Reeves Immigration Law Group has been fighting for its clients through experience and expertise. With immigration lawyers, you can access at reasonable fees even on Saturday. Payment plans are also available. Call us for your immigration solutions. We can do worldwide telephone and Skype consultations. Reeves Immigration Law Group, 1-800-795-8009. Reeves Immigration Law Group has offices in Los Angeles, San Francisco, China, and Philippines. See us at www.rreeves.com. Reeves Immigration Law Group, 1-800-795-8009. Okay, nagbabalik po ang Immigration Law on your side. Hatid po sa inyo ng uh, Reeves Immigration uh, Law Group. Uh, Katulad po ng napakinggan nyo kanina, meron po silang offices sa San Francisco, Los Angeles area, Philippines at China. 1-800-795-8009 ang dapat niyo pong tawagan. At at this point in time, napakarami pa rin ibang uh, paraan para ma, uh, makontak ang ating mga kaibigan from Reeves Immigration Law Group. Nandyan po ang Skype, nandyan ang Zoom, nandyan ang napakaraming uh, paraan para makontak nyo. At uh, bukas na bukas po ang Reeves Immigration Law Group para magsirbisyo sa inyo virtually. Kaya tumawag, mag-Skype, or hanapin po sila sa kanilang website www.rreeves.com Mga kaibigan, marami po kayong pinadala mga questions dito sa PHLV Radio leading up to this program. May mga nagpadala ng uh, uh, kanilang mga questions sa ating bagong morning program, ang magandang Morning Vegas Pinoy every Monday 7am dito sa PHLV Radio. Attorney, kumusta daw po ang... Uh, ang uh, enforcement uh, activities ng uh, ICE. Ito po ba ay apektado ng uh, current uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, dahil merong ibang priorities ang ating uh, government? Nahinto ba ang kanilang mga programs or ano po ba ang update dito? That's true, Kuya. Um, the Immigration Customs Enforcement are tasked to enforce immigration laws you know, at uh, they go after people who overstay the status or people who have criminal convictions or criminal records or people who have prior removal orders. Um, recently, Cuello, um, there is a slowdown in going after these people. Uh, as, as, as you mentioned, uh, mas maraming mga pagtutuunan ng pansin ng ating gobyerno, kagaya dyan ng ICE, uh, you know, on other aspect regarding our current situation, you know. Um, yeah, there is a slowing down of enforcement, but it does not mean that they are not uh, deporting people. The only thing now is of course nagiging major lacks ang uh, policy nila when it comes to yung mga, mga hearings and deadlines uh, you know and, and uh, there are many many directives coming from Department of Justice and Department of Homeland Security uh, Kuya Yo, um, that even if we for example file our brief legal brief or let's say we want people to get out from immigration custom enforcement and we want to extend uh, their stay as I said Kung, kung deport na sila, right? Uh, the good thing about now is because a lot of us are unable to go to our offices and print out our documentation and mail it out. Now they lack some of the rules where we can file our legal brief and even applications and uh, do an electronic signature. And, and that's also a really good news kasi, you know, uh, hindi mo kailangan pumunta sa opisina, i-print out mo yan and then mm -hmm. kirmahan mo, you know, original, original signature and copy mo para sa file mo. 
Now, uh, they do accept like uh, yung, yung sign na S lang, S, S, and then uh, the name of the attorney that's considered acceptable at the moment. So those are really also good news uh, when it comes to nagiging uh, lax ng kanilang procedure when it comes to yung mga, mga rules of evidence. Uh, they accept electronic signature, uh, they accept wet signature, yung mga photocopies lang, you know, mm -hmm. or superimposed signatures that this was your signature before. So they're going to accept those. Hindi kagaya noon that, you know, pag hindi mo napirma ng isang page ng application, uh, they reject that and they return it to you. Or worse, they can even deny kung wala ang uh, original signature. So those are the things uh, that's going on right now. Hindi lang ICE, kundi ang uh, USCIS, Homeland Security, and Department of State. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Attorney, uh, nataon naman na kung uh, kailan tayo nag-social distancing, sarado mga opisina, at uh, marami mga suspended uh, na mga bagay-bagay sa USCIS, nataon naman ngayong April na Uh, ito ang panahon kung saan ipinafile usually ang H-1B visa. Napag-usapan na natin mga kabigan dito sa ating programa uh, a few episodes ago na nagkaroon ng bagong sistema kung paano ina-apply ang H-1B. Attorney, naapektahon po ba ito? Itong, uh, itong application ng H-1B visa, especially the new uh, kind of uh, uh, the new way of applying for the H-1B visa? It's still ongoing, uh, Kuya Yo, and surprisingly, marami pa rin nag apply And the good thing mm -hmm. about the current H-1B uh, policy is for, for the employers, you know, with the assistance of the lawyer, to register uh, mm -hmm. the uh, the employer's name and their prospective employee whom they wish to petition, right? And then once uh, they gathered that beginning before April 1, they already started uh, picking, picking the lottery. And, and uh, we already got most, I would say, from the San Francisco office, I think uh, 65% of those we registered were picked, you know, mm -hmm. uh, para yung H-1B. Uh, the good thing about the H-1B is that pag naka-registro ka, kuryo at hindi ka natanggap, you don't really have to file the whole packet of the H-1B. Uh, unlike in the past where, you know, you pay the filing fees, you, you prepare the whole packet packaging and file it and if you're not um, lucky enough for the lottery then they return to you the whole thing and and the bad thing there is that the client already paid the attorney to prepare the packet but now it's just a simple registration if it's not uh, accepted then uh, that's the end of it um but what we're saying too is that despite the the quota you know worldwide quota na 65,000 for bachelor's degree um there are a lot of uh, still marami pare ang naga apply In the hundreds of thousands per in. and hopefully uh, as i said they already started the lottery and uh, we already got notices that they some uh, or majority of our clients are uh, got accepted mm -hmm. uh, attorney how about yung uh, mga immigration courts natin na nakasuspend at sarado din po ba ang, uh, ang ating uh, uh, mga immigration courts the hearings yes the hearings are also closed um, um, and uh, and the filings are open Uh, one of the ways that they also already also implemented recently is we can file email motions namin or anything that's are due for deadlines. We can file them online. So they provided this number, I'm sorry, an email email address where we can send our uh, motions and legal briefs online. And that's also a good thing because we don't have to go to our offices again and, and you know, mm -hmm. screen out and scan, especially when you prepare a packet. It's, you know, it's a huge packet. I, I don't right. think that the printer at home would be able to print everything that we need, you know, and you know, scan them and, and uh, place them on our iCloud. It's going to be very, very difficult. But the good thing about now is that they accept, uh, you know, online applications and, and that's really a huge help to uh, legal practitioners like us. And uh, in your office attorney is... Uh, uh, sa Pilipinas, ano? Sa Makati. Ganun din po ba? Sila po ba ay... Uh, Work at home then? Yes, actually, no one silang nag lockdown. I think as mm -hmm. early as March 15, uh, President Duterte already imposed yung um, ano ba tawag nito? Uh, ECQ or something like that. ECQ, quality. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> they, na una sila actually, and uh, when we received that uh, directive, um, or I think all throughout Metro Manila, where our, our, our office uh, is located in Makati, we advise our staff to work from home right away. 
Um, and until now, I think they extend until the end of uh, April, I believe. So our Makati staff are also working from home. Uh, they're helping us prepare all these documents and uh, packaging as well. Now, um, i ano natin kuya yo yung sa H1B. Balikan lang natin ngayon. It's a good reminder sa mga kanation natin that what's going on right now with the pandemic, and we need a lot of the frontliners, you know, um, health workers, uh, medical um, workers. Uh, I think it's a good idea sa mga kanation natin. There might be hopefully uh, after this uh, thing um, will norm will will be normalized. The United States um, needs more medical practitioners here, hindi na medical doctor, but also registered nurses, physical therapists, or any uh, medical uh, health professionals, maraming pangailangan ang U.S. Uh, after this. So, sa mga nation natin, uh, get in touch with us. I think there's also a memo uh, on the USCIS website that they are, uh, with regard to medical doctors, I think there's also a visa for that. We're going to look at that and set consultation for us on how to come here. Uh, of course, lahat ngayon on hold, and aside from not only the USCIS and the Department of Homeland Security, but also the embassies worldwide, mm -hmm. right? Um, there's also a lockdown and closure of uh, the embassy, so it's it's hard to set, uh, you know, a visa appointment ngayon, so sarado sila. So yung mga, uh, those people intending to apply for a tourist visa application, student visa, or mga employment uh, workers, you know, uh, wala pang schedule, or let's say natapos na, na complete na po yung process niyo for your green card uh, sa National Visa Center. For example, pinetition po kayo ng, ng uh, pamilya niyo at you already completed the package at the NBC stage at hinintay na lang niyo yung interview. You won't be expecting that interview now or anytime soon while this uh, closure and lockdown uh, is still ongoing. Mm -hmm. So, you watch out lang ninyo and, and of course um, again go to our website at w at, at um, www.arrives.com our facebook page Reeves immigration law group uh, phlv radio as well we, we also uh, through our radio program and also we share informations uh, on our facebook and other social media um, platforms Nako, attorney, everyone, kami dito sa PHLV Radio, yung ating mga hosts ay namimiss na namin at ang isa't isa at uh, ilang linggo na rin kaming hindi nakikita-kita dahil nga dito sa social distancing na ito at minabuti natin na gawin ang mga programs ng PHLV Radio sa kanya-kanyang uh, mga bahay. So, uh, attorney, uh, bago tayo mamaalam sa episode na ito, uh, baka meron pa po kayong gustong ipaabot sa ating uh, mga listeners and viewers. Yes, Kuya, maraming salamat for the opportunity for giving this public service sa mga nation natin. <laughs> it's a very difficult time uh, for all of us and we need to do our part and we need to listen to the national, uh, to our governor's uh, directives and instructions to stay from home unless, you know, it's an essential that you have to go to go and be a part that, you know, be a part of this uh, fight against this <laughs> pandemic. Uh, you are all in this together, hindi lang U.S., hindi lang sa Pilipinas, it's a worldwide problem. And it's scary, Kuya Yo, at mga nation natin. You know, it's a difficult time. Uh, marami sa mga kababayan natin, kanation natin, nawawala ng trabaho. Uh, marami sa atin uh, na stress dahil siyempre marami tayo mga kasama sa bahay who are elderly, who have medical conditions for uh, children, you know. Mahirap. And, and and even if you're young, right, even if you're a teenager or 30 years old and very healthy, um, keep in mind that, that uh, you know, ang uh, coronavirus na to, walang, wala itong pinipili. It does not discriminate. Do your part, you know. Uh, we are all in this together and hopefully malagpasan natin uh, itong pandemic na to. At uh, sa lahat ng mga viewers and listeners natin at uh, magdasal po tayong lahat, do our part and from my, from all of us here at PHLV Radio and from Reeves Immigration Law Group, we wish you and everyone to stay healthy and stay safe and stay home. Maraming stay salam. home. Stay home, mga kababayan. Sabi nga nila eh, ng mga frontliners natin, uh, we stayed at work for you. 
you stay home for us. So mga kababayan, stay safe and uh, we pray na matapos na nga itong uh, uh, coronavirus pandemic na ito at uh, tayo ay makabalik na sa uh, radio station. But in the meantime, tuloy-tuloy po ang uh, ating uh, pagsiservisyo publiko ng PHLV Radio. Uh, kamukha namin ni Attorney uh, Flomi Diza ng Reeves Immigration uh, Law Group. Eh, meron tayong paraan para po naman tuloy-tuloy ang uh, flow ng information para po sa ating mga listeners and viewers. So mga kababayan, ito po ang Immigration Law on Your Side ngayong linggo. Abangan po ang mga susunod na Immigration Law on Your Side episodes dito sa PHLV Radio. Hatid po sa inyo ng Reeves Immigration Law Group. Until next time, this is your Kuya Yo ng PHLV Radio. Kasama po si Attorney Flo Mediza ng Reeves Immigration Law Group. Hanggang sa susunod po. Reeves Immigration Law Group has just brought you Immigration Law on Your Side Wednesdays 7pm Pacific on PHLV Radio